Dental Fuel, the podcast that focuses on what no one else is talking about. Mistakes. The dental world is full of before and afters, and no one is talking about the middle. Dental Fuel brings you the unspoken in between. Dental Fuel is brought to you by Doctors Disability Specialists, a team dedicated to helping dentists and physicians with disability insurance, life insurance, and comprehensive business planning. In this episode, we have Dr. Emma Guzman Vizcarondo. Dr. Guzman is a general and cosmetic dentist practicing in New York City. She completed her doctor of dental surgery degree at the University of Buffalo School of Dental Medicine and was a general practice resident at Bronx Care in the Bronx, New York. Dr. Guzman currently practices in Brooklyn and her main focus is changing her client's life by improving their smiles and ultimately their health. Dr. Guzman continues to grow in dentistry and offers some advice for our listeners. If you could provide advice to our listeners who are dentists, what would be the greatest piece of advice you have to offer? Mm, what's the greatest piece of advice I have to offer? Absolutely know your worth. That's my, that's my biggest thing. Know your word. Take CE early. Take a lot of CE. <laughs> you know, keep learning. But I would say my biggest thing is get a great mentor. Get a, get a great mentor that practices the way you want to practice um, or who can lead you in the right direction and that has the resources um, for you. Because I will say I, lo- I see a lot of dentists that are unhappy just because they're not in the right space, right? I, I've seen some of my colleagues at the verge of saying they're going to quit dentistry and then they get the right mentor and now they love it, right? Because they just weren't practicing the way, you know, they want to. And a lot of the times, especially as new dentists, you know, early in our careers, we don't have the opportunity to practice exactly the way that we envision. Right. So it it is daunting. It is hard. We have, you know, these numbers behind us with our student loan burden. We're trying to figure out, like, how how do we how do we navigate this world as someone with a speed now? Right. I'm a doctor, but I have to manage myself, my family, my patients, the team. There's so much things going on and it could get it could get daunting. Right. Especially if you're not practicing the way you want to practice, right? Especially if you're not making the money you think you should be making for all the hard work you're doing. So I would say get you the right mentor that could lead you in the right direction and let you know, you know, we can only go up from here, right? I feel like a lot of the times, especially now with social media, where you see all these super successful dentists doing all these things. I have friends who like had to disconnect their IG because they're like, it's too much to see these cases, right? A lot of the times, like these dentists are 10, 15, 20 years in right. and right. they're very they much their well in. established, right? right. And you're like, yeah. why does she only work three days a week? And I'm like, yeah, she graduated when I was in middle school. Like she's allowed to work three days a week. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, we have to like give ourselves grace and graduate, get a great mentor to see us through. Very well said. I, yes. I couldn't have said it better. And uh, are there any CE courses that you have taken that you recommend? Let's see. What have I taken? I've so during the pandemic, I did the um, the aesthetic course that was managed by NYU. They did like Zoom courses, and it was like a ten week course. Yes, um, they also have their in person courses. Um, Now I didn't end up doing that because the pandemic hit. But um, one of the courses I do plan on taking is the Aesthetic Advantage course. Um, That's also an NYU course. Uh, I've taken implant courses. Hands-on is key, I would say. Hands-on is key because we take in so so much information, but any hands-on course, anything specifically, I can't point out one right now just because I was like, It depends on what interests you, what you like to do. I've taken hands-on endo courses, implant courses, all these different things, but it really depends on what interests you. But I would say take hands-on courses, right? A lot of the didactic material, you take all the different courses, essentially they say the same things. (laughs) But it's getting these hands moving and giving you the confidence to do it, right? Yes. A lot of the things that they're saying in these courses is not things that we don't know, right? Right. So that's why I think it's very essential to take hands-on courses to really get 
it get you going to do certain things and give you the confidence. Like I took an implant course um, in North Carolina with Dr. Phelps. Um, and literally in the next two weeks, I had implants on my schedule, right? And this was probably the fifth implant course I took, except this one was hands-on, right? So now I'm like, I, I did it in someone's head, right? <laughs> I did it on a real life person, right? There's but so many type of dot jaws that you could do it on, right? And it's just like, no, like I did it on a human and they didn't explode. <laughs> right, like, yes. That gave me the they confidence. They survived. Right, yeah. right. So that gives me the confidence to be like, okay, like I could offer this service to my patients, right? I don't have to undo it. Now, case selection is key, right? <laughs> I, there's still certain cases that I'm like, that, that's going to the surgeon, but you know, doing it on a human there you know with guidance definitely help especially because when you get out into private practice and I would say this was something I noticed as well is like the group setting unless you specifically go to a group practice it's not really what's happening in private practice right there's one or two doctors and if you're a good enough associate the owner kind of disappears <laughs> And I know that has been my experience where they're like, okay, you're producing enough. And they like slowly are not in the office anymore. Or it's their schedule is fully booked. Your schedule is fully booked. Mentorship is not really happening, right? Or it's happening during lunch or it's just, you know, small little conversations. But if you don't know how to do an implant, okay, they're doing it, right? If you don't know how to do something, someone else is doing it versus it's like, okay, we're going to sit down and we're going to do this cake together. Unfortunately, that's not productive, right? So you go see your patient. I'm going to go see my member. And then maybe we'll talk about it later, right? And that's what ends up happening a lot. You're in the offices by yourself. So you're not doing the things you don't know how to do. And there's but so much that someone could lecture at you about when they're not, when you're not actually doing it with your hand that you're like, yeah, that was a great lecture. And I'm going to go still have my regular, you know, schedule that I have. on. My hand. Yeah. Hands-on is, is great because like you said, you're kind of going through the motions, but you also get the feedback and yeah. you can ask questions in person yes. and you likely are going to create some kind of mentorship with whoever, you mm -hmm. know, held that course where you can still ask questions, which I think is key. Yeah. Um, so great, great advice. I, I love yeah. it. Any last thoughts that you would like to share with our listeners? I would say to all the new dentists, you know, just keep listening to all these different podcasts, right? Even if you don't know these people on pers in person, these are your virtual mentors, right? Keep hearing the stories. You are not alone. Um, dentistry is a very, very difficult field, but it's rewarding, right? Practice how you want to practice, right? And make the best out of it. I love it. Emma, thank you so much for your time. If our listeners Have would me. like to can if our listeners would like to connect with you, where can they find you? So my Instagram is underscore Dr. Emma. So you could definitely DM me and hit me up there. Um via my website, there's a link there where you could contact me if you're interested in mentorship. Um and then my email is my first name, last name. So Emma Guzman, two two six at gmail.com go check out the website it is awesome i love it yeah. i'm a fan emma thank you for bringing your energy to our episode today and we'll catch y'all like next time all righty thank you we hope you enjoyed this series with dr guzman and that you will join us with our future episodes here at dental fuel be sure to connect with dr guzman on instagram at underscore dr dot emma and with ignite dds at ignite dds